removed at all times. Any unattended baggage will be removed and may be destroyed by security services. Good evening everybody and welcome to this 24 hour delayed dad rail stream. We will be starting on the Midland Main Line in approximately 10 minutes time. 10 minutes time for the dad rail stream and I haven't changed the thumbnail, how bad is Once again, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to this Dad Rail stream. Having a look at the newly released Midland Main Line on Trains in World 3. We will be starting at 2030. That's 2030 by the station clock and not by the real clock. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Mind the gap.
This is your four minute warning. This Dad Ralph stream will be starting in approximately four minutes. Please have your drinks and light refreshments ready. And once the stream has started, please remain seated throughout the entire performance. Four minutes till the start of the Dad Ralph stream. Passengers are reminded that smoking is prohibited at all stations and on all train services. This includes e-cigarettes.
How's that guys? Tell me you can hear me now. <laughs> right, we're going to start the stream again. Welcome everybody once again to a, another DadRail stream with me, Richard. It wouldn't be a DadRail stream without something going wrong. Um, I, had the, I had the software set up for recording rather than streaming, so uh, yeah, my bad, my bad. I'm sure it's not the first time I've done that as well. So we are going to be playing um, the new middle and mainline route for Tracing World 3 from Skyhook Games. I do apologise, this stream has been delayed by, um, by 24 hours due to me having some personal things to take care of. Um, so thanks everyone for your understanding for that. I did put out a couple of videos on this yesterday, so hopefully you've had a chance to see those and see some other people streaming this. Um, I did see Joe the British Ace streaming this. Um, and yeah, there, there's a few things in it that are not quite right, but overall I think it's a pretty solid route. But I will be interested to hear, um, what you guys have got to say about it. So this is the first video I'll stream you've seen by me then. My name's Richard, and I'm a freight train driver and former passenger train driver based in the southeast of England. Before we jump in guys, I've got to tell you that all the views and opinions expressed within this stream are solely my own, may not affect those of any companies I may be employed by or associated with. And I've also got to tell you, I've also got to tell you that Dovetail Games and Skyhook have given me this route completely free of charge, uh, but as I did say, all the opinions are solely my own. So we are going to be having all the usual features, we're going to be jumping in and out Discord server. You'll find an invitation link in the description below and you can post in the live stream um, pictures page. We're also going to be playing our very popular game. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. That is the one. Today's picture provided by DET Trains. But that is enough chat. Let's press the button. That is enough chat. Let's jump into Train Sim World 3. And I can show you my menu screen today because I don't have any pre release content that I've got to hide from you. <laughs> so. We are going to do, the, the idea today, we're going to take an HST from Nottingham to Leicester. Uh, then we're going to jump in the peak and do one of the rail tour services from Leicester up to Derby. Uh, and then time depending, we'll jump in the 158 and do Derby over to Leicester. So it's going to be a, um, a little bit of a longer stream than usual today, but hopefully not, not too bad. So, to the trains. Choose a route. And I've got nothing in here that you're not allowed to see. Middle and main line, timetable. And we are jumping into the high speed train. Um, we'll do the 8 plus 2, so we're a 10 car. Uh, the service we're going to do, because I've, I've actually done a little bit of planning, which I know is unusual for me. 1 Bravo 7 8. Um, there it is. Which is a 28 minute run, 1943, so hopefully we'll get some half nice lighting. And if we do this in June we should kind of get a bit of a sunset scene. Um, let's press get started and see what happens. So 103 of you lovely people in tonight, which is fantastic. If you haven't already, guys, please do hit the like button and consider subscribing. Uh, you do need to be subscribed in order to take part in the live chat. That's just the way we've got it set it up to uh, help stop spamming and that sort of thing. In space, doing homework or watching this stream. No worries, bud. No worries at all. Maxwell, who is ready for Spadwell? Thank you for the vote of confidence, Max, but you could be right. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, get started. So we've got us. We've got one and a half minutes to get the train set up before departure, um, and we're going to be stopping at East Midlands Parkway and then Leicester only in this HST. So I'll get it set up and then we'll do some outside shots and uh, kind of show you what's going on a little bit. So first thing we're going to do is put our AWS in. I now know where that is. Uh, we're also going to put the DSD in as well. Now, if you're playing on console, I believe there is a bit of an issue with the DSD where you can't cancel it, but I, I believe that is going to be fixed pretty soon, hopefully. So. Into neutral. Let me know, as always, guys, if you want the game audio up or down. Bit of horn there for your reference level. And we're going to open the doors on the right-hand side. We also want some headlights on. Uh, we'll go with day. That should be okay. Um, and we'll recharge our brake pipe to the initial position. Uh, Northern Princess Productions. Yes, the thumbnail in YouTube is correct. However, for some strange reason, when I put the links in on Discord, Twitter and Facebook, it's showing the Scott Rail thumbnail. I don't know why that is, but the, the thumbnail is correct. Uh, Sandbrooks, you isolated the DRA instead of activating the... Did I? Uh, no, DRA normal. Um, okay, right, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Uh, and we've got our headlights on. So, hey, David, welcome to Dead Round. New subscriber, great to have you here. Uh, a tad bit up. Is the stream freezing at your end, guys, or is it okay? Okay, locked doors. It says isolated. Oh, DRA... That switch is wrong then, isn't it? Because, yeah, DRA isolation, that's normal. Isolated. You would have thought that is isolated there, because that's in the isolate position. Okay, that's... And that switch is backwards as well. Okay, I, I'm, I'm confused. That, that says normal, and that says normal. Okay, let's... So is the DRA working in that position? Yeah. That's a little bit weird as well, because the DRA normally pushes in to set it and then pulls it out to reset. So that's that's a little bit funky. Anyway, let's jump outside into our dodgy number eight camera and let the train do the talking as we pull out. It does help if we put it in forward, though, doesn't it? Right, here we go. Hey, Davidoff, thanks for gifting. And Mr. Quicko, thanks for joining. Oh, hello. Um, did anyone see the doors stay open at the back of the train? bit peculiar. We are now speeding. The door's opening. <laughs> Sandbrook's going well so far. Yeah, definitely. Maxwell, I saw that. Okay, right. Let's put a little bit of brake and get some of this speed down. Uh, East Midlands Parkway in 7.4 miles. Pig and Bob, that happened to me earlier. Right, we are a 10 car. We're good for 80. Um, if anyone saw the video that I done on this, the pre-record, I had a very, shall we say, enthusiastic approach to East Midlands Parkway, 100% braking all the way in, and it pretty much stopped on the money. So we we'll see if we can do a bit of a better job of that today. Um, uh, thanks very much for asking, Davidoff. She's absolutely fine. 
It's very good of you to ask. Right, we are off. We are on the move. Uh, DET, will you be driving a Sprinter later? I want to see Loughborough Station. Yeah, we will do. That's going to be the third service we do today. So, uh, as I said in the introduction, we're going to be running down to um, Leicester with this one. We're then going to do Leicester to Derby in the peak, one of the Routal services. Um, and then we'll jump in the, the 158 and probably do a um, Derby over to Nottingham service or something like that. So... Shall we play our first round of locomotive location delivery? Go on then. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Okay, so the um, AWS and DSD is working as intended. Brilliant. So it looks like, yeah, definitely those switches are, are, are the wrong way around. Definitely. Spicy pepper sauce, did you know you can open the doors on the southeastern high speed and just jump out? Uh, I didn't know you could do that on the southeastern high speed, no. We're going mad with numbers for locomotive location livery. Who's it going to be? Third one on my screen is Keza. Let's play locomotive livery location. Keza with number 12, you're the third one on my screen. If you haven't seen the game before, guys, I'm going to give you box number 12. 10 seconds to give me the locomotive livery and location, please. Too easy, too easy, far too easy. Let me know in the chat if you have any thoughts on where that might be or what that might be. I do think... Sometimes I do think locomotive location livery might just be a little bit too easy. We're on a 5x5 five five square at the moment. I am thinking about going up to a 6x6 six six or even a 7x7. Seven seven. Let me know what you think of that. Oh, two yellows ahead. Excellent stuff. Okay. Hey, Dale Clarkson, welcome to Dadbrow, new subscriber. Two yellows cleared to a green. So what we're going to do in this situation is just leave the power off, let it coast. Um, it could be that we're following another train and we don't want to be catching it up. Although we do have another green. I did say in the, um, when I've done the video on this, I really like the way the signals stand out and the signals pop. That's, that's really quite nice. What are we reckoning? Um, Supertram says TFW 170 in Wales somewhere. Uh, Penguin's gone for 170 TFW. Platform 5's got the class at 170. Chance for Wales 170 at Bridget, maybe. The northern guy is going for Greater Anglia. Spicy Pepper Sauce TFW 170 Swansea. Okay, that's a bit weird. So we just had an AWS horn. On a green signal. That's not supposed to happen. If that happened in real life, if we had an AWS horn on a green signal, that is what we call a right side failure, meaning the system has failed safe. You're, you're being told the signal is more restrictive than what it actually is. So at the end of your duty, um, you'd, you'd phone up the signal immediately and report it, but at the end of your duty, you'd have to complete a RT3185 signalling irregularity form. Yeah, Jason, definitely signalling irregularity, right side failure. Do you know, Jason, being that you're doing rules, do you know the code? What, what code is that? Horn Vice, uh, Bell Vice, sorry, Horn Vice Bell. What code is that on the form? Uh, Jake's doing it. It was two yellows, then went green. Uh, I didn't, it quite possibly was uh, Jake's dinner, but I didn't, or Jake's diner. I didn't see that, though. But quite possibly it was. So we've got a 70 coming up. Let's just drop a little bit of braking for that. Yeah, the, the dreaded RT3185 signaling irregularity form. 
Uh, Northern Princess Productions. I was just asking. I've got no idea myself. <laughs> hey, Saber Alex 13 game. Hello, how are we doing? Great to have you here. Should we get a little bit of an external shot? Because we've got the power station coming into view. Of, uh, occlusion on the top of the cooling towers there. I believe this is known as Red Hill Tunnel. Is it Red Hill Tunnel? Somebody will. Uh... The only Red Hill Tunnel I know is on the Brighton Main Line, but I, I think this is called Red Hill Tunnel. Very architectural and, and picturesque. Okay, we're half a mile out of East Midlands Parkway. We can just about see the station coming up there. We'll drop a little bit of brake in. I do love the glare on the windscreen. That's when it when it's done properly. The lighting in Train Simulator 3 is is really good. When when it's implemented properly, it is very nice. Hey, Hannah Scott, how are we doing? Uh, Jurafar76 says Jake Stone is correct. It went green just after you hit it. Ah, uh, that's fair enough then. That's fair enough. Let's see if we can get a half decent stop here at East Midlands Parkway. Uh, DET, yeah, Red Hill Tunnel is on the quarry line. Uh, JF1, hi Richard, can you say Lamfair PG? Yes, I can. There we go. Job done. Oh, I still had braking. I thought I'd fully release that. My bad. I thought I had fully released that brake and we were going to roll up to the end of the platform and stop perfectly. But it just wasn't to be. Sounds like the compressor's just kicked in as well behind us, which is which is quite nice. I do like the way, how far into the power station can we go? It's, it's, it's quite a nice bit of modelling. Definitely is quite a nice bit of modelling, the power station there. I do like that. I do like that. Are those police sirens in game? Can, they, can anyone else hear police sirens? <laughs> or are they coming to get me? Hey, Davidoff, that's very kind of you, my friend. Yeah, I do like the detail on the platform here at East Midlands Parkway. This is quite nice. I... Hey, Northern Princess Productions. Fantastic. Let's become a member. Um, yeah, that's, that's not quite right there, is it? That's not quite right. Okay, locked doors. Let's see if they all shut this time. Um, not quite. I'm not very good with the camera. Yeah, so, um, can we get a Star Wars theme? 
it's got to be done. Um, spicy pepper sauce says quite buggy, I guess. It's there are a few inaccuracies and there are a few bugs like the, the station sign there. Um, I, I wouldn't say there's any bug that prevents you from playing the game. I've not touch wood. I've not experienced any crashes or anything like that on the game. Um, however, the route does feel. I just want to say the traction I think is really nice. There's, there's a few things like with those switches being the wrong way around and the doors not closing. Um, the route, it just doesn't feel 100% polished. It almost seems like it needs another couple of weeks in, in, in testing. Um, the one thing I will say though is I've got, and, and I'm, I hope I'm not going to be proven wrong, I've got a lot of faith in uh, Skyhook Games to actually look after this route and put some updates out and actually listen to community feedback because I think that's the one thing that's been missing in the past. The community have given feedback saying this missing, this is missing, that's missing, um, this needs to be changed and it's never been acted on. And I, I, I think from conversations I've read and, and bits and bobs of people I've spoken to, I think Skyhook are going to be very good at supporting this going forward and they are going to, uh, excuse me, they are going to get some of these faults ironed out. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Uh, how do you do different tones outside of the cab platform, Fiverr? Uh, it's just space bar and in, same as it is uh, inside the cab. Uh, are the rear cab lights white, not red? Um, you know, I think they are red, um, GJ. Uh, DET, what is the rail tour service on this route? So you've got a class, uh, you've got a peak, is that a class 42 rail tour service? Um, you can do the LMS Jubilee on it and you can also do a class 66 rail tour. Um, we're going to do one of the rail tours after we finish on here, we're going to do the peak rail tour. Um, but I can show you what the options are for those. Uh, blue grass, marginal tint, yeah. It's, re it's reddish, it's reddish. Um, Durafest76, yeah, on the forums there's a dedicated post and follow up from the devs, so it's a super promising, but we'll see. Yeah, I, I do hope so, because I think this route's got a lot of potential. And I, I kind of see this route as like, um, almost like a trunk. And I, I kind of see that, that in time we're going to get some of the branch lines, and we're going to get extensions, and we're going to get freight layers. And I, I think there's a, there's a big possibility of this route being built upon. And that's something I would, I would very much like to see. There's a huge lack of AI traffic at the moment, and I know that's been picked up. The route just feels a bit dead and a bit empty. Um, I don't think we've passed one other train yet, and it's, it's, it's a little bit of a shame. So I am really, really hopeful that, um, that they are going to continue to develop this route, and we are going to get some updates for it, and we're going to get the little things ironed out. Um, my my favourite thing about this route is the traction. The HST drives really, really well, and the sounds on it are beautiful. Same with the, uh, the 158. The sounds on it are are absolutely stunning. I, I, I can't, you know, can't complain too loudly, loudly about that because they've done, they have done a really good job on that. Um, crazy place, yeah. The route doesn't have enough of AI for me. Yeah, I, I, I would agree. It, it does feel um, empty. The route does feel a little bit empty. Uh, DT, yeah, I'd love to see an extension to the Midland Main Line. Yeah, uh, LE Roblox, I completely agree. Massive future potential on this route. Massive future potential. Should we do one of those? Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Hey, Platform 5, do you remember shouting me out and getting me 100 subs? Well, I'm at 200. Excellent, Platform 5, well done. Let's see if we can get you to, I don't know, 250. If you haven't already, Platform 5, go and subscribe. Hey, typical Nathan. I'm good, thank you, bud. How are you doing? I've got no idea what these stations are as we're flying through them. Um, so feel free to tell me in the chat, anyone that knows the route. Hey, the Northern Guy has become a member. Thank you very much, Northern Guy. And Carl Button. Welcome to Dad Brownie Subscribe. Great to have you here. Hey, there's, a, there's an AI train. Right, who have we got? Locomotive location delivery. As always, guys, it is the third number on my screen, which happens to be platform five with number nine. 
Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Going to give you number nine, guys. Ten seconds, please, for that locomotive livery and location. Well, if you know your CCTV cameras. Is there any clue in that? Let me know your thoughts. Do let me know your thoughts. Uh, Guy Johnson, I would love this route to be a trunk, so to speak. Not only because it's my local main line, but like... Erewash Valley and up to Chesterfield or Lincoln. The options are actually endless. No, they, they completely are. Completely are. A um, little bit of 110 there. I'm just a little bit over the speed limit. Nothing too dramatic. Going back up to 115. Yeah, I really do like the way those signals pop. That's That's very nice indeed. Uh, Penguin says TFL 170 at Cheltenham Spa. Um, Oatway Fry and Coles Adventures is 170 Greater Anglia. Spicy Pepper Sauce TFW Class 170 Cardiff Canton Depot. There we go, freight train. Um, yeah, again, again, one of my little bugbears with the route is, is no freight layers on here, which is a little bit of a shame. Again, hopefully that's something they are going to implement. Uh, this route has got massive potential for freight. Please, can we have a class 60? Just just putting it out there, you know. Oh, is that a 158? Or is that a... I got a little bit excited then. I thought that might have been a 387 on the uh, ROGS unit drag. Hey, Sunkicks, welcome to Dabrell. Bye. Uh, Crazy Plays is saying locomotive location delivery is an EMR 170, but we don't know the location yet. Uh, Phoenix Behemoth, are we on the wrong side? Uh, what do you mean, bud? We are currently on the. Uh, we'll be on the up fast line, heading towards London, so we're on the up fast line. Hey, Dean Plays TV, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Uh, maximum speed on the Midland Main Line, typical Nathan, I believe, is 125. Talking of which, let's get some power in because we are dawdling. Keeping it going, keeping it going. So let's have, whilst we're on this nice straight bit of track with nothing happening, let's have a little look at the Discord server, see what you guys have been posting. Bluegrass, classic, classic train driver excuse. I was only speeding a little bit. Nothing too severe. Yeah, that would definitely would have been tea and biscuits. And Charles Transport Photography there on the Baker's Dozen Rail Tour uh, at the weekend, where Unit 1001, aka the Green Goddess, visited every London terminal in uh, one single rail tour. Very interesting pathways on that. Typical day, and I think the route could get extended to St Pancras. I, I think that's a big ask, but yeah, that that's something I definitely wouldn't be against. Definitely wouldn't be against. Uh, East Midland, yeah, if they can connect this route with South East and High Speed, this would be a super route with endless possibilities. Um, so yeah, if you have got the South East and High Speed, guys, you will get the, um, the EMT HSTs to part in St Pancras as part of... Uh, an extra layer on there. The South Eastern High Speed has got so much traction on it, it's unreal. And of course with the announcement of the 700 coming, um, there, there is so much traction on that route, it's, it's just absolutely crazy. You've got the ROGS 37s, you've got the 66 RHTTs, you've got uh, the Steam Rail Tours, you've got the 375s, um, you've got the Javelins, the 465s, the 700s, it's, it's just got a mental amount of, of traction on there. Uh, NG, hi Richard, hope you are well. This route feels deja vu with the Scottish one in my opinion. Potential to be really good, but feels just a little unpolished bunked at the moment. Hopefully you can fix a few things soon. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would 100% agree with you, bud. I think, I think you're right on the money there, definitely. Uh, Shakairo, there's, yeah, no Eurostars on... You get the, you do get, I think you get a TGV, don't you? Um, 
There's a TGV layer on there as well, if I remember rightly. Yeah, Crazy Blaze just confirming that there's a TGV layer. Hey, Crazy Dash, yeah, not too bad, how are you? Uh, JLS, no worries, but thanks for joining us. Uh, there's a 90 coming up. Right, let's pay attention to the game. Having so much fun in the chat there. Okay, that's a bit weird. We've got a green signal and a subsidiary signal lit up at the same time. That's not prototypical. Is TPWS modelled in this room? Um, I need to find that out as well. I'm not 100% on whether TPWS is uh, modelled or implemented. So one mile out of Leicester, there's a 40 coming up. I've got the brakes in. Just to come down for that 40. Uh, we've got one yellow there going into platform three. Uh, is the red this side of the platform or the other? Uh, it looks like the red's going to be at the end of the platform at this rate, so possibly slow down a little bit too much there. I do like the fact that the brakes take a little while to come up when you release them. That's that's very um, very good and what I would expect. I've never driven an HST in real life. I've only ever cabbed one, um, and that was in Eastley Works. So I've, I've never been in one as it's been moving along. There we go, we have said ROGS 37 over there. Which is a beautiful locomotive, very well done in game. As we come into Leicester, we are a 10 car HST. Not that it matters because we don't have any stop car markers in game, which is disappointing. And we want to be aimed to be doing no more than 20 over the AWS magnet, subject to your individual company driving policy. Red ahead. Uh, platform 5, is there an East Coast mainline on Train Sim World 3? Not as far as I know, there isn't. No. No, not, there, there isn't. I can I can categorically say there isn't. Oh, uh, we have got a 10 car stop marker here at Leicester. Which we're a little bit past, but nothing too dramatic. And because we stopped at a red signal, it's full service braking. DRA applied and into neutral, so the train is secure. Opening the doors on the left hand side. Sun kicks also hope they expand the other way through Ashford Ride, Hastings, and split both ways. Bexhill and Roberts. Oh, you mean on the East Coastway route? Yeah. Typical Nathan, how can they miss car markers? Um, they have at some stations. Some stations have them, but others don't. Um, which is a, yeah. I get what you're saying there. Okay, gold medal attempt. Fantastic. I do just find that the route in the HST there, it just isn't quite long enough. It's just, there's not much meat to the driving, if that makes sense. It it's just, just doesn't seem long enough to me. Um, just my opinion, though. Crazy Dash, yeah, no, I, I mentioned that be before the, the sounds are fantastic. Uh, ben Bellis, can we have a train tour? Yes, we can. Um, we'll jump back into that one and we'll have a quick look around the HST because we haven't done that and then we will do a peak uh, route or service which should be the next one we do so let's uh... so there we have it unfortunately we can't go in the luggage compartment that is um, locked out, which is a little bit annoying. But we got some nice detail on the uh, on the loco, on the uh, carriages, sorry, on the Mark Fours. And you to go through these doors, don't click them. Oh, someone just disappeared. Um, don't click the doors to go through them. You just kind of 
walk up to them and they open. Uh, I guess they're like automatic. Now, one of the things that has been noted, you can't sit in the seats on the HST on the coaches, um, which is a little bit irritating. And I believe we've just fallen for one of the other bugs. Whereas this person here is going to stand where they are. And we are now unable to move. Yeah, th this is... Oh, we can open the windows. Uh, okay. <laughs> Door... Door interlocking problem, potentially. It's also telling me to unlock doors, will they, even though they're already open. Um, ah, the network map's pretty cool there as well. That's nice. But yeah, uh, so this is this is one of the bugs now. We are now completely and utterly stuck. We can't go anywhere. Uh, we press C to try and crouch down. Um, yeah, excuse me. <laughs> so that 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 is just. You know, it's a little bit bugged out. Yeah, we are stuck. Okay, end of the train tour. Um, which is it's a little bit annoying, isn't it? Crazy dash. I may pick up this week once lots of the bugs get fixed. Okie dokie. Right. So to the trains. Mm. Choose a route, middle and main line, timetable. So yeah, someone's asking about rail tour services. So we've got the, the class 45, the peak, which is what we're going to do now. Um, the LMS Jubilee's got a three parts of a rail tour in there, which is kind of just doing all three bits of the, the Y shape there. Um, and the class 66 has got a couple of rail tour services on it, as well as some RHTT trains. Um but it'd be really good to have those freight layers on for the, the 66. But we're, oh, when you've got the 377 there, um, uh, Derby, uh, Litchurch Lane to Stewart's Lane Depot doing some free 77 and a 387 drag, uh, which is quite nice. I've never driven this loco before, so let's, <coughs> excuse me, let's jump in. And we are going to do the Leicester to Derby section on that um, 6.21 in the morning we'll go March because that should give us some nice lighting yeah platform 5 the 37 is, is very nice um, we'll just keep the dynamic weather on clear East Midlands give the 37 a spin I, I won't on this stream but I do need to do that on one of the streams Okay. Oh, double header. Hello. Have we got a tail lamp on the back? No, we haven't. But never mind. Never mind. I do quite like the station lighting though, that, that's nice. But yeah, it just, it's, it's quite dead isn't it? it? It's quite dead. We do need a little bit more AI stuff going on. We have got... Oh, she does sound good. She, she does sound very nice. Yeah, the, the lighting in Train Scene World 3, when, like I said earlier, when implemented correctly, is, is beautiful. Okay. Safety systems, safety systems, safety systems. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to cheat and just press control and enter. So, let's see if we can get this to work. Uh, master key on. Reverse the engine only. Uh, straight air brake fully applied. Train brake released. Unlock doors on the right. Engine stoplight illuminated. It sounds like the engine's running to me. Let's see what happens. Uh, SE Rail. Yes, I did used to drive 375s back in the day. Uh, and we are East Midlands Parkway and then Derby. So we're pretty much the reverse of what we've done before. We're going up to Derby rather than um, Nottingham. 
side of the driver's seat. Um, ah, yeah, I've got you. There should be a changeover switch down here as well. There we go. Thank you very much, officially, Charles. Oh, okay. So this is... It looks like it's going to work. And... Straight air brake. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Got a bit of a cough going on there. Um, are we going to move? overload that there. So guys, we are now heading from Leicester up to Derby. And then once we get up to Derby, we're going to do a 158. We're either going to come back down to Leicester or go across to Nottingham. So uh, I'll let you guys kind of decide what you want to do and where you want to go when uh, when the time comes. Dadra, what's your favourite route and train in Train Simwell 3? That's a bit of a difficult one, Platform 5, actually, because I, I quite like the Brighton Main Line, and I also like the South Eastern High Speed, and, and I quite like the Cross City. It depends what mood I'm in, really, and what, what I want to drive. I don't think I've got a favourite as such. Hey, Luke Mogford, welcome to Denver, and you subscriber. Great to have you here. So we have got 170 of you lovely people in tonight. If you haven't already... Um, please do hit that like button, consider subscribing, that would be absolutely brilliant and very much appreciated. Thanks for joining us, Train Geek. See you next time, bud. Yeah, good evening, Luke. Thanks very much for subscribing. You're good here, thank you. How are you doing yourself? Maxwell, Dad Row, if your train is somehow derailed, would you press the chaos button? Um, I most definitely would, Max. For some reason, the chaos button has disappeared off my sound, so I can't play. Uh, big cheese size 7 feet, great music. Are these the types of locations you drive in real life? Uh, no, absolutely not. So I'm. These days, normally on class 66 is 73 or class 69s. Um, I don't think I've even, never even seen one of these, let alone driven one. But I certainly haven't ever loaded it up in game, so uh, this is an experience. The 47 can be seen on the route. It is birthed in one of the depots. However, there are no services with the 47 made um, in the game, so that's, that's a little bit odd. Uh, Bluegrass, can we turn the game down a tad? Yeah, we absolutely can. Let me know if that's okay or whether that is uh, too much. Terry English is the same. Game is a bit high. Sound is too loud. Yeah, let, let, I've turned it down a bit, guys. Let me know if, if that's any better. I can put it down a bit more if you need it down a bit more. Not a problem. In the slightest. A Formula 47, do you reckon West Coast Mainline South, Birmingham to London, would work as a starter route for Train City World 4, as is similar to South East and High Speed? Um, Formula 47, I don't think Train City World 3 has even been out a year yet, to be, <laughs> to be honest, but uh, I dare say Train City World 4 is being worked on. If we do get a Train City World 4, then surely we need multiplayer, and we need guard modes, and we need maybe a dispatcher mode, so, something similar to what's being offered in. Um, in Simrail. But we'll see, we'll see. Hey Joe British Ace, how you doing? Great to have you here. Uh, Eliza, the engine is loud, lol, but now it's fine. If you want it down a bit more, guys, I can do that. That's absolutely not a problem at all. Uh, Crazy Dash, all we know is that Peak Forest is the next route. Electronites, I would absolutely die to see Voyages in Train Simulator. 
it, it's going to be a 2-2-2, two, 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 isn't it, though, on middle and main line as opposed to a 2-2-8, two, two, but it probably wouldn't be that hard to change between them. I don't, I don't know sort of exactly what the differences are between the 2-2-2 two, two, two and the 2-2-8, two, two, but yeah, I, uh, a Voyager, it's been like cross-country. There's so many routes you could potentially run that on. Uh, platform 5, I have nothing planned stream-wise at the moment, so I'm afraid just keep an eye on the socials, but it's the best I can do, I'm, I'm afraid. But uh, thanks very much for joining us, really appreciate that. So I've, I've caught a couple of your videos on this, Joe. What are your thoughts on the route? I'm, um... Yeah, as, as, I, as I commented earlier on one of your videos, I've, I've got faith in Skyhook that they're going to go through and fix all the issues we've got with it, and, uh... I, I, I'm enjoying it as a route. The difference between the 220 and the 222 is headlights. Oh, okay. If, if that's all, it shouldn't be... Shouldn't be too difficult. Um, crazy place, 75 mile an hour is max for the class 45, right? Quite possibly. It normally says on the cab walk somewhere, doesn't it? Normally, locomotive or passenger and route or is 75, so. Although the game seems to want to let me do 100. Should we slow it down a little bit then? Should we, should we drive realistically and do 75? Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Speed's coming down. We'll do it properly. My, my, my sincerest apologies. <laughs> Let's have another go at locomotive location livery, shall we? LaserJet says max a 45 can do is 100. Differences of opinion going on here, guys. Go with uh, yeah. We'll go with what the game's gonna let. The game's gonna let us do a hundred, so let's go with a hundred. Um, who have we got then? Locomotive location livery Maxwell Wind Shepherd. You're the third one on my screen, number 13. Let's play locomotive livery location. Gonna give you box number 13, guys. There, dead center. 10 seconds, please, for that locomotive livery and locomotive. <laughs> to the conductor or is that the driver <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Alexa's featured in a dad Rouse stream once again brilliant fantastic uh, it's 90 is its max operating speed. Okay, yeah, we'll 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 go with 90 then. Formula 47. You seem like a trustworthy sort of person. I do like the way these signals pop out. That is very nice. That is very nice. A crazy place is going. EMR 170. Platform five says tunnel. Uh, Rowan, Transport for Wales 170, Shakira King, Transport for Wales 170, Pig and Bob is agreeing with that. Nobody's nobody's having a guess at that location at the moment. Any idea? Um, Supertramp says somewhere in Wales. Could well be, could well be. Any ideas? Maxwell says Hawarden Bridge. I get copyrighted, Mr. Quick, if I ask her to do that. So we are 9.4 from East Midlands Parkway. Ben P. Alexa Rail. Ah, oh, that's going to do it. That's going to do it. 
<laughs> uh, DET, can you help him out? Um, I reckon we, I reckon we got a couple more rounds in this yet, DET. It's a good picture. It's a good picture. Hey, old Yorkie, how are we doing? Great to have you here. Uh, LWRL, there's a Delta running from London to Edinburgh up the East Coast Mainline on Friday. Ooh, lovely stuff. Uh, yeah, the, the lighting and the weather conditions just changed very suddenly there. Good evening, train driver Sam. Evening, oh, brief break before back to work. What are you on tonight, Sam? Have you got the joys of the, um, the, the Gatwicks? Double green signal. Did you see the double green signal? I know, I know. So if we're going with uh, 90, 90 sounds pretty reasonable, isn't it? Yeah, we, we are, we are going to go with 90 as our top speed on this. Crazy dash out of curiosity. How did you come up with the idea of locomotive livery location? Um, I think I may have copied catchphrase off the telly <laughs> a little bit. I, I kind of think that's where my inspiration come from. Um, we have got another kind of, not game as such, but we have got another feature coming to the streams. Um, something we've done in the Discord server for a little while and something, something I have done on social media before as well. Um, so yeah, do do watch this space. We we do have another another new feature with with new jingles and everything. Gregory Allen, uh, a double green means the devs have buggered up basically. Um, they have them on London Underground. I'm reliably informed, but double green certainly isn't a thing out on the main line. Um, on the East Coast main line, I don't know exactly where, but they do have flashing green signals. Uh, flashing green signals authorise train drivers to travel at 140 miles per hour past those signals however um, although they are still there and they are still flash 140 mile an hour running was never introduced it was just used for testing uh, yeah JAG1 say what you see say what you see yeah no worries Supertram thanks very much for joining us really appreciate that uh, Formula 47 yeah top speed should be written in the cab I was having a, a, a little look round for it earlier but um didn't see it anywhere. It's normally written on the door or something like around there, isn't it? But yeah, no, it's, it doesn't appear to be, unless it's on the speedo. Um, that doesn't give me any indication either. Oh, there we go. Maximum speed under power or coasting, 90 miles an hour. Now we know. Now we know. Yeah, Maxwell, it, it won't be guessed the location. Uh, Jag 1, East Coast Mainline flashing greens are somewhere around Peterborough, I think. I believe they, they're they still there and they do still flash as well. So I've, I've never seen them for myself and I know they're 140 mile an hour certainly isn't a thing. Um, I, I believe it was decided that 140 mile an hour driver can't, um, can't reliably read line side signals. So therefore, anything above 125 has got to be in-cab signalling. Uh, Terry English, quite possibly. I, I've never ventured that far north, I'm afraid. So I uh, couldn't answer that. But it's certainly, on the, in the National Rail, the Network Rail rulebook, um, uh, double greens are not a thing. Hey, Valentino Collins. Good, thank you. How are you doing? I am not too bad at all. Uh, there you go, Norman Princess Production says Broadly North End, Broadly at the North End of Peterborough uh, was the test area for the 140s. Uh, Jack 1, Crazy Dash, if you were a transportation planner, what two stations in London would you want to link for through running? My opinion would be St Pancras and King's Cross. Uh, what, why would you do those two? Um, Crazy Dash, they're so close to each other. Uh, 
Good to hear it, Valentina. Good to hear it, bud. Right, two miles out of East Midlands Parkway. Let's see if we can get a half decent, half decent stop. Okay, we're getting some adverse signals as well. Let's get the power down. Two yellows. Power is all the way off, and we're getting a little bit of breaking. So Eurostar can run on the east coast of Maine like crazy Do you know um, the fact that HS2 and HS1 get some more break in the one yellow is just coming up. The fact that HS2 and HS1 are not going to be connected, I, I find that pretty short sighted. My goodness, the brakes on this are absolutely atrocious. <coughs> some serious braking now. Are they in good timings or something? They are really bad. Oh, passenger air brakes. Hey, the pack, aka Andrew, has subscribed. Great to have you here. And oh, they're going to take a week to come off now, aren't they? And I'm going to end up stopping. Schoolboy error. Come on. I should know better than that driving freight trains for a living. <laughs> uh, typical Nathan, do you need an airport? In which case it's probably going to be, I mean Gatwick really, but I, Lid would be my closest. Hey Carl Stevens, welcome to Debra, new subscriber. Not sure what's going on with the little animation things today, they uh, seem to be bugging out a little bit. Uh, yes, Tony Wilson, you've got a ROGS 37. Come on, brakes release, brakes release, brakes release. Yeah, but is, I, I suppose Lid is, a, is a, an international airport, Max, but... Um, Oh, that do. Let's just stop it there. I suppose it is an international airport, but there's not really any scheduled flights out there. As far as I know, there's no scheduled flights out there. So, can we really, can we really class the lid? Uh, are they back brakes? No, not according to the setting on the back wall, Paul. They're um, they're on air, passenger air. So, shouldn't be, shouldn't be. Let's go. While we've got a little bit of time, let's go ahead and have a little look around East Midlands Parkway. We've got no working elevators, <laughs> which was. I like the detail in the waiting rooms there. That that's pretty nice. So we've got a couple of minutes here before the train's due for departure. Nice lighting on the overbridge as well. So I've never been to East Midlands Parkway, so I've got no idea if this is a, uh, a good representation of it or not. Certainly a bit of a monstrosity next to those cooling towers. Ah, we've done posters. There we go. Like the signal on the floor over there. That's pretty cool. And we'll get ourselves back over ready for departure. Oh, there's a person on the bridge. Hello, how are we doing? Dad Rao, you know Aldershot. I know where Aldershot is. I don't sign the route through Aldershot, but I, I do know of Aldershot. Okay, almost in time for departure, which means we shall do this.
Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Peter Beer, it's a very good representation of Parkway. Carl Stevens, jump on the tracks, do what you always wanted to but never could in real life. Uh, yeah, I, I do do it in real life, Carl, that's the thing. Um, safely, of course. Mark II Tour. Yeah, uh, we can go and have a look through the Mark IIs if you want. The Mark IIs, I will add, are part of the Legends of the Great Western pack. So the, the, the locomotive here and the, um, the Mark IIs are definitely not part of the route. Um, you will have to have the... I'm pretty... Someone's going to tell me otherwise, but I'm pretty sure it's the Legends of the Great Western pack that you need to have... Uh, in order to get this to work. Right, we've got two yellows. Life's entertainment. Is the roof worth worth is the route worth getting, Dad Rao? Um I can't answer that question, but that's that's entirely up to you. Whether it's worth getting for you or not is um, Yeah, it's gonna be down to your personal preference. It th there's there's no major bugs in it that make it unplayable. There are but we still got brakes on. Why am I showing as having... What's going on here? Driver's brake. Into the release position. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Hey, Stephen R. Williams Music, how are we doing? Um, straight air brake 100, straight air brake off. Why is it holding brakes in? Put the vacuum brakes on. Um, Brakes are where they were. Maybe it was in vacuum all along, but the switch was in the um, switch was in the wrong place, and by me fiddling with it, I've I've upset the balance. That would explain a lot. That would explain a lot. DB Rail Productions, hello and welcome. Oh, we get to see an HST anyway. That would explain a lot. Okay, we're off to Derby. Uh, and then when we get to Derby, guys, we're going to jump in the 158, which is obviously the other um, traction that come with the route. And we're either going to do a run all the way back down to Leicester, or we'll, we're going to go around the corner to Nottingham. Um, so let me know in the chat which one you would like to see. I'm um, pretty easy. One's about 20 minutes and one's about 40 minutes. So just, just let me know in the chat which one uh, you would prefer me to do. I have no, I no issues at all with that. Um, and locomotive delivery location, I'm just going back up to try and find, because I got completely distracted there. Um, crazy plays! You were the third number on my screen with... I forgot, 22 I think. <laughs> 22. Let's play locomotive livery location. Let's go through the tunnels first, because this is quite a scenic bit of the route, isn't it? I'm going to write down 22. So I don't forget. Formula 47 says hi, Mumrail. <laughs> right, one yellow. Stepped up to a green. Lovely job. So we can keep the power in. So 
So round to our right would take us round to um, Nottingham on the Nottingham branch. Now we're on the spur up to a derby in 8.6 miles. Okay, let's press the button. Let's play locomotive livery location. Gonna give you number 22, guys. 10 seconds for that locomotive livery and location. Here we go. <laughs> Has that helped at all? Let me know in the chat what your thoughts are, as always. Nobody's got the location. Not that there's much to go on there, location-wise. We may have to have a little bit of a clue. We'll give it a couple more rounds, and then we'll have a little bit of a clue. Terry English, have you seen the head and shoulders in the festival of the HST since yesterday? Um, I, I've not, but I've not played it much since yesterday, to be honest with you, Terry. But that was, uh, yeah. Uh, Stephen R. Williams Music, what sort of PC specs are needed to run this? I'm not 100% sure of the minimum specs for the game, but maybe if someone else knows, they can paint, copy and paste that in. Um, but this is also available on a PlayStation and Xbox if you don't, uh, if you don't have a PC to run it. Oh, Hannah, I'm sorry to hear that. Better luck next time. I hope you managed to get some feedback from them. Um, it's always a good idea if you haven't already just to ask for some feedback. Crazy place, EMR 170, tucked free and hatton. Penguin, to around 4th Wales 170, still no idea on the location. Uh, LWRS, Transport for Wales 158, card. DET, hold, you, you can give the clue, but hold off, not yet, not yet. We've still got, still got another journey to do on this stream yet, so we'll, we'll hold off for a little while. Luke Mogford looks like a transport for Wales delivery. Uh, Gareth Edwards, Richard, on nearly all new trains now they are fitted with top marker lights. Is this a legal requirement now or just a few choice of design? Um, so Gareth, they, they don't actually make much difference to the view, they're not headlights, they are just marker lights. And it is my understanding that all new traffic has to have um, a free light, a triangle configuration of marker lights. You have your top one, otherwise known as the Cyclops light, and then you have your two lights down at the side. That is my, my understanding is that is now the, um, the standard. It is also, if you don't know this guys, there is also no requirement anymore to have the front of trains painted yellow. So if you see the front of trains painted yellow, that is out of choice. There is no requirement to have that. DT, summon me when needed. <laughs> I will do, but I will do. So where are we? 5.9 miles out of Derby. Let's jump into the Discord server very quickly. Um, Smack Trail is, has been aviating. bit of aviation chat going on over in the Discord server. You'll find an invitation link in the description below, guys, to our very friendly Discord server. And if you're not already over there, it'd be great to see you over there. Um, we've got other members of Railway staff over there who are happy to answer any questions you may have. We've got a good, uh, generally a really friendly community over there of, of enthusiasts and uh, Railway staff and Railway professionals alike. Old Yorkie, why were trains painted yellow in the first place? Purely for visibility um, when people are out and about on track. It's, it's easy to see. Uh, can we have a train horn? Should we have a flyby? That, that would be even better. Ah, oh, crashed into the signal. Is anyone on the route or? Okay, we've got some adverse signals coming up. Just stepped up to green. So what we will do is just take the power off. Because if we've had an adverse signal, there must be a reason for it. Uh, we can assume there's a train in front or something like that. So we don't want to go racing up to it. We'll just take the power off and hopefully the next one will be green when we get there as well. Uh, Valentino Collins, in terms of next stream, I have absolutely no idea at the moment. So, 
next week, as many of you know, because I've mentioned it a few times, I am going to uh, Germany. So I've got three days in Germany visiting uh, Miniature Wonderland, as well as uh, Wuppertal on the suspension monorail, and a day in um, Cologne and Dusseldorf and in that sort of area, um, doing some general train spotting bits and bobs. Um, which should be quite nice. So I'm hoping while I'm over there, I'm hoping to do a live stream from Miniature Wonderland. Um, so that will be at 4 p.m. 1600 um, on Monday, if that happens, if I can get a phone signal in the venue. Um, and then 4 p.m. on Tuesday, I'll be doing a live stream from uh, Wuppertal, the suspension monorail, so we can have a ride on that on live stream. And then probably something on the Wednesday as well. But that that is my intention, although it's going to depend on what my phone signal's like and bits and bobs like that. So quite possibly 4 o'clock on Monday, there will be a live stream direct from Miniature Wonderland in Hamburg. Uh, Valentina, how am I getting there? Be getting there on... Um, uh, Travelling with a, a, an airline who are well known for their cheap fares and hard landings. I'll let you fill in the caps. <laughs> um, DT, not long until the 313 farewell rail tour. Yeah, that's going to be a shame. I am hoping to go out to get some drone footage of 313s um, later on this week, but I don't know if I'm going to have time to do it. It's going to be a bit sad because they won't be around for very much longer. Uh, the 321 farewell rail tour is on the same day. Oh, where do your... Where do your... Um, Alliances lie, guys. Where, where do your loyalties lie? 313 or 323? No, let's start that again. 313 or 321? Which one are you going on, given the choice? Maxwell, I could not possibly comment on that airline. Uh, LW Rail, can one of the next streams be driving the Scottish Rail Tours? Do you mean on Train Sim World Freebird? Yeah, Johnny Simulator. Uh, Jag one, yeah, it might be blue and yellow. Hannah Scott, yeah, that's the one. Uh, Gregory Allen, no, I, I'm going to try and hold. I'm going to try and hold it till we get there. Um, I believe though, if you need a life jacket, you do have to put 50p to get the life jacket out from underneath your seat. <laughs> it's a um, fly low reference. Come fly with me if anyone's seen that. We, if we, what are we getting here? 321, 313, 313, 321, 321. Uh, Valentino, no, mon Monday coming, bud. Monday coming. Network Panda, LLL. We are just coming into Derby. We'll do an LLL when we get to Derby. Um, someone wanted to have a quick look through the Mark IIs which we can certainly do um, we'll have a little look at Derby Station as well, this is a very slow approach we will have a little look at Derby Station uh, and then we're going to jump into a 158 and then have a li little ride in the 158 Uh, Jag 1, I would not put it past them. I think we're going to have to go a little bit faster here because I am severely taking my time. Uh, yeah, Formula 47, no worries. We, we can do that for you once we get into Derby. Uh, Shunter Jack, love the free on freeze, but after working with them for the last five years, it's clear that it's time for them to go. There is said 47 guys over in the sidings at um, Derby there. However, not drivable. And we've got some 158s on the other side. So the depot here, I've got some units that have been split up, which is quite nice. So they've, they've kind of... They've populated the depot quite well. Yeah, for, for, for a train sim world route, it's populated quite well. Right, one yellow, platform five. We are into Derby. 
447, are you going to Swanage? Yes, I am going to Swanage. Um, so that's in about two weeks' time, isn't it? Two or three weeks' time I will be um, down in Swanage. Really looking forward to that. As we come round into Derby. Okay, guys, so we are going to jump in the 158 for the next run. Let me know if you just want to do a short run round to Nottingham or whether you want to do the full route back down to Leicester. Um, I'm easy either way, just let me know in the chat which one you would prefer to do. Uh, do you want to do the 158 round to Nottingham or all the way back down to Leicester? And remembering now that these brakes are in VAC. close attention to my driving here. We could be on for a half decent stop. I'm taking it, I'm taking it, I'm taking it. Come on. One more yard. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Never mind, it was close. It was close. Right, Derby Station's looking quite nice. I do like the, the modern style. Come on, let me in, let me in. Uh, it doesn't want to let me in, that's a bit weird. Oh, I'm pressing E to get in, but it's not letting me. Okay, that's... that's... I just shut the door in my face. Oh, a hey, gold medal attempt. That's not too bad, is it? That is not too bad. Um, did, did it right. Return to free roam. It's still not letting me on board. That's really, really frustrating. Why is it? Why is it not letting me on board? Okay, let's let's be really, really naughty and see if we can get on from the other side. <laughs> do not do not try this at home. If any, uh, oh, climb up steps. Well, hey, we're in. <laughs> there we go, guys. The Mark Twos, lovely. These are modelled quite well, actually. They do look quite nice. Although, we might now be stuck on... Ah! Oh. HST. Um, we might now be stuck. Um, I've not been down the ramp yet. Let's just go for a wander down the ramp and then we'll load up the 158. Um, the general consensus seems to be Nottingham. Uh, sorry, Leicester. Yeah, Richard completely ignoring his own PTS video. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Yes, yeah, so that's not really anything too exciting there, is it? No, the station looks... Oh, we can get in the... Totally ignoring my own advice with PTS. We can get in the waiting rooms here. That, that's quite a nice touch. Can't sit down on the benches, though, which is a little bit of a shame. It'd be nice if we could interact with those. But no, not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. I'm... I'm quite liking that. HST just knocked your door off. Yeah. <laughs> um... Brilliant. Okay, let's jump out of that. Go back to the main menu. Uh, no network panda. We have not forgotten locomotive location delivery. We will do 
another locomotive location livery. To the trains. Choose a route, middle and main line. So we're definitely do the 158 now. So we are at Derby. So it'll be a service coming from Matlock. Matlock to Newark Castle. Um, Notting. Uh, can we go? Dar is there is there a Derby to Leicester? Lincoln to Leicester from Nottingham from Derby to Nottingham Nottingham to Derby Leicester to Nottingham Derby to Nottingham I don't think there is don't think there is guys okay <coughs> excuse me in which case we will do um, 48 minute service there Lincoln to Leicester should we put it in light clouds and see if we can get a little bit of rain going on uh, Jag one I don't think there is a derby to Leicester and I, I didn't plan that very well did I Uh, Callum, yeah, I, I, I don't... Do you know what? I don't actually mind a 158. They're, they're not bad units. Okie dokie, we are at... Nottingham. I have to think about that then. We are stopping at Beeston, East Midlands Parkways, Loughborough, uh, Barrow upon Saw or Sour, um, Silby, Syston and Leicester. Apologies for pronunciations. Okie dokie. Master key on. Neutral. Is that reverse of the... I want to say that reverse is the wrong way around. That the handle should be on the left-hand side. I don't know that for sure, but... It, I think it should. Breaks into step one, and we can put our safety systems in. We've got a green. We've got a D. Okay. Uh, of course, we have to do the GSMR on here as well. The GSMR functionality is basic at best. I.e. Confirm deregister. It's a little bit weird in the way it works. Registration code 998. Confirm. Yeah. The... the We've got a GSMR that you kind of have to turn on, but that, that is about the extent of it. Um, if you want to know more about the GSMR radio, guys, I've got a whole two videos on the on the channel that explain uh, exactly what GSMR is and how it works uh, in the real world. So, into forward. Should we do the mandatory number eight cam? Standing on the platform. Here we go. Uh, brakes are off, aren't they? Yes, right. Power. I've still got brakes on. That's why it's not revving up. I wonder why it wasn't going very fast. Still got brakes on. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. The sounds on it are quite nice. We should only be doing 15 coming out of here, though. We're already speeding. Yeah, Robert, there is a guards panel on this. You're quite right. I don't know if you can sort of change it into guards mode, though. 
Um, someone said press the phone and then look at the radio. Uh, I can't press the phone. Not that one, at least. Got a little bit of functionality on the GSMR. The test is working. Screen brightness is working. Um, contact signal us. Sending standing at signal. Proceeder signals indicate. Normally that would come back weight. That would be the default answer. Uh, Callum, no, I've, I've never driven a DMU at all. Um, sprinter or otherwise. So... I'm I'm purely winging it. Should we go for a locomotive location delivery? Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Uh, Jake's, you know, I, d I don't think there are any where it works 100% properly. I think there's a couple of DLCs. I believe Island Line and Scotland Express. Um, you can kind of sort of guard it. There's, there's kind of ways round it, but there's no kind of official guard mode on, on any of them. Um, some GSMR are glitched, so the head code doesn't show up and the phone doesn't work. Yeah, I did notice one of the services I played, we did actually get the running number in the GSMR radio. But the, this one doesn't have it, which is uh, a little bit of a shame. So we are off to Beeston, platform two. Let's see how we get on with this stop. Let's see what the brakes are like on this. Okay, locomotive livery location, spicy pepper sauce, number 19. Let's play locomotive livery location. 10 seconds, guys. Locomotive livery location for box number 19. Oh, we have passengers. Does that help you? Does that help you? Let me know your thoughts in the chat, as always, guys. Uh, Penguin, East Coastway 313 and Scott Rail 314, you can guard pretty easily. Spicy pepper sauce is going transport for Wales class 170 at Bangor. Or Bangor. Formula 47, I have a feeling box 14 may have a sign in it. Uh, Kuzar the Aviator, it's a 378 somewhere. Class 43, XGA EMR 170. Callum says cross country class 170. Gregory Allen, that's my mum and dad. Uh, that's got to be a good luck. That if, if if that is true, Gregory, then uh, <laughs> you should know where the location is. If you want vigilance, it's on the panel behind. Um, I suppose I better stop at the station first, really, hadn't I? No, we're doing all right. We're coming in okay. Um, oh, there we go. Vigilance normal. As we are coming into Beeston. Yeah, DET, you're quite right. I do normally blur any sort of signs and branding that might give it away. I do normally blur them out, so... The brakes on this 158 do feel um, pretty decent. So I don't sign 158, so I've, n I've never driven any sort of... I've driven EMUs, but never any DMU stock. But the, the brakes do feel like I would expect them to feel. They, they do seem to be pretty good. They seem to be pretty good, I say, shooting straight past the stop car marker, Beeston. Yeah, Beeston... It's got a four car mark, but it's no two car mark. But it is what it is. It's annoying, but not game-changing. Okay, unlock left. We can have a little look around the stations here as well, which are all looking... pretty well modelled. Yeah, this is one of the things I picked up as well. I quite like the way that this bench is kind of old and tatty, and this one's not. 
it's quite nice to have that kind of that that bit of variety in the wear and stuff. So it's not all, all sort of standard. Um, mandatory broken ticket machine, of course. It's good. It's good. Let's go. Um, okay, yeah. So, Hannah Scott, can you operate the destination controller on this train? No, unfortunately not, Hannah. Uh, not to my knowledge, anyway. So, to get the train going. We are off to East Midlands Parkway. So, in terms of what you can and can't press on the board there, that is completely locked out. You can't touch none of those. If we jump into outside view... I'll press F5 and F6. And we've got absolutely nothing there at all. We're, we're completely unable to play with that, which is um, is a little bit of a shame. Ah, we're getting some rain. Now, this is good because from what I have read and what I have heard, and I, I am privy to some inside information, um, the wheel slip and the traction control on this is very good. Yeah, Ben, we absolutely can have a train tour. Uh, when we get to East Midlands Parkway, pop that in the chat again because I am really good at forgetting things. Um, tell me the wipers work, please. There we go. I like the... the um, I like the bit of tubing there as well, which comes down for the screen wash. That's re that's really quite nice. Uh, the pack, aka Andrew, can you do train announcements? It'd be really good if you could just like pick up the PA handset and just have like a little bing bong sound effect go off, wouldn't it? So you can kind of just you know play pretend at announcing. Uh, in space, I didn't see the signal. Are we supposed to stop here? No, we're not. Crikey. <laughs> Had me worried for a second. Uh, I didn't see the signal in space. What was wrong with it? I must admit, I wasn't paying attention. DET, does it finally work in braking? Not 100% sure on that. We will find out, though. The wipers on the 158 don't work. Um, yeah, this one seems all right. Notice as well, we've got no sirens on the level crossings as we go past them. Open the front or middle coupling door, please. I want to see how it compares to a more modern four-fold solution. Uh, we're good for 70 at the moment. Let's... Oh, that's quite good. Let's re-isolate that. Ah, oh, well, there we go. Do not try this at home. Doesn't have any effect on the sound as well, which is uh, a little bit interesting. Because in reality, uh, we would expect that to ha obviously have an, uh, an effect on the sound. Opening the window does. Radio, what do we got? Two yellows. Robert, I was waiting for that to happen. So being that it was two yellows, let's get a little bit break and get our speed down. Uh, crazy plays, I will have a look at the guard panel. We can do that. And we got a 40 coming up as well. So we are one yellow, position one route indicator. One yellow has stepped up to green. We do still have the 40 to contend with. 
I can't try this at home because I don't have gangway chains. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. 40, uh, 4 minute 47 straight up two fold door. Nice. It is opening in forecast like the default on 375 referring to double trains. I haven't seen any forecast sets running on here. If I'm being completely honest with you. It does look quite nice though. It's 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 as atmospheric. It's moody. We have got track going into the power station as well. Um, unfortunately, though, like I say, no freight services. So I'm really hoping that that's really really hoping that that's going to happen. Uh, LWL, the sound in the cab is unrealistic. It's much louder in real life. Yeah, I've I've heard a few people say that, and I've heard the devs and people that drive these units say that the the cabs are actually pretty quiet. the The engine is at the other end. The engine's at the gangway end. So I have heard people say that the cabs the cabs are generally pretty quiet. Oh, come on. We're not going to overshoot. No, we're not. No, we're not. Yeah, no stop car marks here on the um, slow line platforms as well. Unlock on the left. Okay. Why can I still hear the DSD? We were, we were going to do a little train tour. Yeah, a little train tour for you. So. I think she's modelled really, really well. I, I do think it's a lovely model. The interior looks pretty... Plain and basic, but I mean, 158s are not exactly much for interior. Um, not much for interior anyway, are they? Nice festival area, and then into the other coach. So, yeah, um, we can sit in the seats on here, which, as I said, on the HST, um, unfortunately, we can't on the HST, but on here, we can sit down in the seats. And in terms of guards panel, we have got just there. We can try and close the train doors from here. Let's see if that's going to let us do it. Door key on. Um, oh, it might actually be working. I've got a funny feeling I'm not going to be able to get back in now, am I? Oh, no, I am. <laughs> that could have been interesting. I forgot these don't have their own cab doors. Uh, so if you're on an AI service, it should work pretty well, the guarding. Right. <laughs> that could have been interesting. Okay, guys, shall we have... Where are we going? Loughborough. Luga Baruga. We are off to Luga Baruga, a.k.a. Loughborough. Shall we have DET trains? It's... 
your picture we're doing on locomotive delivery location tonight. I'll pop it back up on the screen. Would you like to give everyone the clue? DET trains, what is the clue? Let's play locomotive livery location. There we go, guys. What is the clue? DET. Hopefully, DET's still here. <laughs> what is the clue? Uh, big cheese size seven feet. I have been a mainline train driver since 2011. Um, what year is it now? So that's 12 years. Um, before that, I was what's called shunt driving in the depot. So I've I've had my I've had my driver's key in one form or another um, for about 13, 14, 15 years, something like that. Seems like a long time, anyway. So your clue is, DET trains is posted, X Transport for Wales DMU, but it doesn't run for Transport for Wales anymore. I'm going to give you a clue RE location as well, guys. The location has got something to do with this route. And they're the only two clues you're going to get. So, the clue is X Transport for Wales DMU, but it doesn't run for Transport for Wales anymore. And the location has got something to do with this route. Okie dokie, how are we doing for speed? We're getting there. Let's keep it wide open. Um... Curtis TV or Curitz TV, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Evening, start my TTM course on Monday in Peterborough. Nervous. Ah, oh, fantastic, bub. Whereabouts are you going to be based uh, once you've finished your course? Might see you out and about on the network. Uh, NG, only issue regarding AI services. The guard local door doesn't stay open when you close the rest of the tours. Oh, okay. Yeah, a, a dedicated guard mode I think is something that, that a lot of people, myself included, would like to see. Uh, big cheese size, big cheesy size seven feet. Great, you know your stuff. Um, I only know what I know, and I don't know what I don't know. Make it up as I go along. That's a. Uh, it's worked pretty well up to now. Uh, Simon, hey Devra, what of the older trains do you wish to have driven? So I am quite lucky in, in the respect that I get to drive Class 73s, which are obviously 1960s locomotives. Um, so I'm quite lucky that I get to drive those out on the main line. But some of the old kind of slam door stock would have been lovely. 442s, um, I would like to have had, had a go. 460s, I mean, they're not old, but they don't exist anymore. They would have been quite nice to have a go on. Um, 37s, 47s, 20s. Yeah, kind of, kind of, sort of before that steam and stuff. I'm not really a massive steam fan. I can, I can appreciate a steam engine, but it's, it's not really my cup of tea. Richard, I think there's supposed to be a telephone handset on the left-hand side of the driver's cab for passenger announcements. That one just there. They have got that in. Okay, two flashing yellows. Let's see if flashing yellows are correctly implemented. Uh, so here, so hill trains multiplayer would be awesome in Train C World. So I'm expecting my next signal to be one flashing yellow. So I'm getting me brakes in nice and early for that. So there's me one flashing yellow. I'm expecting me next signal to be. A static single yellow with a route indicator. However, the signal could change to two yellows or green on approach. We will have to wait and see whether whether they are correct. 
We've got TPWS loops there. I don't know if TPWS is modelled correctly in this, like I said earlier. I'm, I'm going to have to do a little test and just go hammering up to a uh, speed restriction or something. More so than usual. I'd <laughs> see, see if it's modelled correctly. Got a 50 coming up as well. I'm guessing that's going to be over the junction towards uh, Loughborough. We will shortly be arriving into Luga Baruga. The closest I get to Loughborough, sort of, is over the top of Loughborough Junction in London. When I go over on the um, from Denmark Hill towards um, Wandsworth Road, you go over the top of Loughborough Junction. One yellow route indicator, that is as expected. Of course, that is still, even though we've had flashing yellows, that is still one yellow. So I've still got to treat my next signal as at danger. I do have the next signal display turned off, as you can see on the on the HUD as well. It's just, just personal preference. It looks like the signal is going to be off the end of the platform. Um, so Hill trains. I think TPWS is modelled because I got emergency brake for approaching speed restriction too fast. Yeah, DT, no worries. Feel free, bud. Loughborough Junction is a bit of a dodgy station. So we are looking for the two car mark. We've got an offside door release. Uh, it looks like there isn't any stop car markers. As expected. What we don't want to be doing. Hey, what's going on with the signals there? Oh, that green's ours, is it? Okay. What we don't want to be doing is stopping over the AWS magnet. That's never a very good thing to do. Unlocking on the right hand side. Oh, let's try and go outside quickly and have a little look at Loughborough Junction. Sorry, not Loughborough Junction. I've got Loughborough Junction on the brain. Just Loughborough. It's not looking too bad, to be fair. We're delaying the train now. Drivers are like, urgent. Urgent P, we say. Oh. <laughs> it does look pretty decent. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Oh, crikey. I'm all over the place. That's it. Med screen the driver. In the seat. Next stop will be Barrow upon. S is it Barrow upon Saw or Barrow upon Sour? I like the hill start feature on this as well. So you can keep 25% brake in whilst taking power. And the idea is it lets the power build up. And then once the power's built up, you can then release the brake, which stops the train from rolling back. On trains with one handle, so like the 375, 387, 377, um, even on the 395, you've got a little button. Not the 38, the 387 doesn't have it, sorry. You've got a little button on the side of the controller, and you push the button in, and it holds the brakes in. So you push the button in, pull the control lever back, let go of the button, and the brakes come off. On the 387... On the 387, it actually has a button on the desk, a hill start button. And you press the hill start button. Right, junction indicator number one. 30 mile an hour coming up. And let's press the button. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. That's the one. And we are off 65 mile an hour. Let's get this 
with armed with those clues, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone in between, let's see if we can't get that locomotive livery location. Get those numbers in. I've got one number on my screen so far, which is Formula 47. Uh, in space has claimed the third number on my screen. Unlucky for some, it's number 13. Let's play locomotive livery location. Uh, which we have had, so it is proving unlucky for you as well. Uh, the next one on my list is NG with number 20. Give you number 20, guys. 10 seconds, please. Locomotive livery and, of course, location. <laughs> This is a toughie. This is a toughie. I always say with these, that there's if you know, you know. There's there's one of these for everybody. There there's definitely one of these for everybody. So if you know, you know. Oh, DET, that's a that cheeky little clue in the chat there from DET Trains. Richard has mentioned a part of the station name in this stream. Cheeky, cheeky little clue there. Cheeky little clue. Oh, Joe, that's fantastic. Joe's the British ace in the chat just pointed out. When we blow our horn, which is obviously operated by air, the main res uh, air display, which is at 7.4 bar on the left, momentarily drops down. Um, and yes, it does do that on trains that I've driven as well. Because obviously you're letting quite a lot of air out very quickly, so the pressure drops off um, ever so slightly. Yeah, that, 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 that's really good. I like that. I am. I'm definitely a fan of the. I'm definitely a fan of, of both the trains that we've got in in this. Even if I'm not very good at driving any of them. Uh, Solly, so. So Hill trains new at Castle, not new at Castle. Formula Forty Seven says Derby, not Derby. The rain sounds are quite nice as well. Jason side just lost the internet for a few minutes there. I always I always dread that when I'm streaming and the internet going down. Touch wood, I I've got a pretty reliable connection where I am. That's quite a short little platform there. Um, seven to five car stop. I think we're lucky if we can fit two on there, aren't we? Yeah, that's that's pretty tight for a two car. It's very atmospheric. It's very atmospheric. I do like it. Uh, Mr. Quicko, don't look at the HST at night. The carriages look funny and buggy. Oh, okay. Uh, the pack, aka Andrew, can you drive steam trains on here? Yes, you can. There is a... Um, oh, forget the name of it. The, the LMS... Somebody tell me what loco it is, please. Yeah, you can. There, there, is, there is a steam tour on here that you can drive. Right, we're off to Silby. Oh. Little bit of wheel slip. Jubilee, that's the one. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> yeah, the Jubilee. 
little bit of wheel slip on the 158 there. That, that was quite nice with the sound effects. Uh, the pack, aka Andrew, I'm getting this for my PlayStation 4. Yeah, go for it. I... Like I've said, and I think I'm going to stick with my opinion on this. The route isn't perfect. There there are bugs in it. Unfortunately, the route is a little bit buggy. Um, there, there's nothing in there which is going to stop you enjoying the route. There's just a few things in there which are, which are not quite right, like stop cars missing. Um, there's a couple of bits with signalling and stuff like that. But... I've got quite a lot of faith in, 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 in um, Skyhook. Leaves on the line, guys. I've got quite a look quite a lot of faith in Skyhook to actually go in and fix this. Um, I think that the, the two trains that we're getting, or sort of one and a half trains, because we did already have an HST, but the, the one and a half trains that we're getting are very, very welcome additions to the game. Um, and and they've been done well. They've been done well. So I'm, I'm normally probably one of the more critical YouTubers when it comes to these things. I think, I think that's fair to say. I can normally be quite harsh with my feedback and stuff, but uh, yeah, it, it, the, the, the trains have been really, really well done. The route needs a little bit more polishing. Um, I mean, there are a couple of bugs on the trains, obviously, but the, the route just needs a little bit more polish. Miles too early on the brakes there. I've been playing German routes where everything's in kilometres, so <laughs> um, that's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Uh, in space, as far as I know, the signalling is pre-programmed. Um, Four minute forty-seven. Skyhook are working on it. Plus ten out of ten for immersion. It's it's certainly a good route with lots of potential, and I, it's something I'm hoping we really do see. Um, expansions for you know if they take it through to Matlock that would be pretty cool or um, you know down to St Pancras I don't think we're going to get down to St Pancras on it um, Sheffield maybe you know it's, it's got a lot of potential please stop please stop everyone spilt their coffee but we've stopped These are proper short little platforms. But yeah, no, the one the one five eight is driving really, really nice. Really nice. Um four minute forty seven, do you have Discord? I can message you after stream on how to get them. Oh, sorry, no, that's not for me. <laughs> Mr. Quicker again, thirty percent of user reviews on Steam Store about this route is positive. People not happy. What sort of thing are people saying on Steam? I'll have to go and have a have a little look for myself. About what people are saying, but um, yeah, see, I, I I can't comment on whether the route is accurate or not because it's not a route that I'm familiar with. But you know, as as kind of a, a casual player that's not familiar with the route, let's see if we can get wheel slip again. Yeah, as a kind of casual player that's not overly familiar with the route, I, I think it looks okay. It looks perfectly acceptable to me. Uh, how late are we? Only about two or three minutes. Uh, Tok, I believe Matlock is coming to Train World 3 in the Peak Forest Steam Route, set in 1963. Okay, guys, you've had a couple of clues. Should, should we have another go at this? Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. I'm hoping somebody does a great Western version of this, and we're going to get it down on the, the West Cornwall local. I know it's not the right the right era for it, but it'd be be pretty cool. Um, Brian, what passenger trains have you driven in real life? So. As a mainline driver, the, the free class 375 and 377 Electra Stars. However, when I was a shunter driver, I did also drive the 465 um, and 466 Networkers, as well as the 376 Electra Stars and the 395 Javelins. Um, 
in space. Did I just see a moonwalking NPC or am I seeing things? Quite possibly. I was looking at the chat, not the stream, so quite possibly. DT, I'm not a fan of Steam. It's too difficult to drive. I don't find the Steam experience particularly immersing on Train Sim World 3. That's just my personal opinion. Um, I've only ever driven a Steam locomotive very briefly on the Romney Hive and Dim Church, and that wasn't a, that wasn't a large one. That was a, a miniature one. Okie dokie, guys. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. In space, number 17. Do you know what? Because we are getting near the end. I'm going to give, give, give you a couple more. Just little bonus ones there. Let me know your thoughts. I am speeding. I should have kept the locomotive location livery screen up a little bit longer than no one would have noticed. Okay, we've got a green on that one. What are we doing? 50, 0 0.6 miles from the station. We're not going around the corner. Chronicle Toxic don't find it exciting. 20? 20? Okay, well... <laughs> we are speeding, massively speeding. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. We've been streaming for like two hours, 12 minutes. And I've got to press the button. No, come on. That's harsh. That's really harsh. I thought we were doing so well. I thought we were doing so well. <laughs> uh, Shakira, no, I've never driven a 707. I was I was earmarked to do some testing on the 707s, but unfortunately it, it never come off for what one reason or another. But no, I haven't. What have we got for that locomotive location livery? Uh, DET trains, how long is left? So... Uh, Leicester's the next station, guys, which is where the stream will end. Nice guy, Eddie. How are you doing, bud? Great to have you here. We are just about finishing up, but uh, great to have you. Yeah, Sam, watch out for the 20. Yeah, thanks, Sam. <laughs> I've well and truly missed that. In space, I'm integrating tea and biscuits into my work in progress Roblox railway game. Oh, let us know when you finish it, buddy. It'd be great if we can uh, we can get that on stream and have a little play on it. Uh, Gregory, you make a good point there. Are there are there good reasons for the things passengers scoff at? E.g., leaves on the line, the wrong type of snow, etc. Yeah. 100%. 100%. So leaves on the line is, is an absolutely massive problem. Hey, another pointless account. Welcome to Dead Rail. Um, leaves on the line, they're absolutely massive problem because uh, effectively you've got a, a steel wheel on a steel rail with very little um, rolling resistance. During dry, dry conditions, you've, just, you've got just enough resistance to get the train moving. When you put leaves on the line, effectively, when the leaves get crushed, all the sap and other stuff inside the leaf comes out, and you basically create like an oil film on the track. So you've got a steel wheel, steel rail, and now you've got a layer of oil in between it. So as a train driver, when you put the brake on, and the rail's slippery, you put the brake on, your speedo just drops to zero, and nothing happens. It's like being on black ice. And it's, it's a massive problem. It's not just a UK problem, it's a worldwide problem. It does happen in, in all other countries in the world. Um, there was a nasty accident in Portugal about five or six years ago where a, a local train went into the back of an express train. Um, 
I think there was a couple of people killed in that, and that was attributed to leaves on the line. So what do we do about it? We've got railhead treatment trains, which basically go out um, jetting the tracks. They're basically big jet wash trains, and they go out and jet all the stuff off the track. Um, you cut down trees. The trouble is, if you cut down trees, people that live near railway lines then start to moan about the fact they can see trains from their house when they used to just be able to see trees. So that does get a little bit controversial. Um, and trains have got sanding equipment on them as well. So, you know, when you put the brake on, the train will lay sand down to try and get some attraction, some traction. But yeah, no, le leaves on the line genuinely is a, a big problem. And the, it costs the railway millions and millions of pounds every year. So if there was an easy solution, I'm sure they would have come out with it by now. Okay, guys, we're nearly at Leicester. Let's have one more round of this. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Formula 47, it's not going to be an LLL DNF. Uh, so, Mike, I also drive railhead treatment trains, um, as well as freight. Uh, I don't get involved in the um, track recording trains, though. So I'm sure, as you know, on the freight side, everything's kind of contract. So the company I work for, we don't have a contract for the um, the, the track recording trains. And that 50 is 1.8 miles off. Yeah, Mr. Quicko, it's, having a hoover is absolutely not going to help. Because if you suck up the leaves, you're, you're still going to have leaves that get crushed underneath the trains. By the time it gets to that stage, it's too late. So, and you, you are literally talking millions and millions and millions of leaves. So it's, it's, it's a... It's a harder problem to solve than what, what it sounds um, Ben you may have only just got here bud but you are the third number on the screen for locomotive location livery with number 18 let's play locomotive livery location ok guys what I'm going to do I'm going to give you a fighting chance we'll give you number 18 um, which is what I'm going to give you do you know what Uh, another pointless account, how often does the sanding get done? Pretty much every time the train's on the depot. Um, so the sand reservoirs will be filled every, every time the train's on depot, basically. So it's part of your daily... Uh, for, for a diesel train, every time it's fueled, the sand will be filled up. That was a signalling failure back there. You had a main green light and two subsidiary signals. That is wrong. That is wrong. Uh, Mike, not quite as far as Wembley. I only sign as far as uh, Wilsdon Euro Terminal, which is just before Wembley. Um, yeah, mo most of my route knowledge is down in the south. So I, I sign most of Sussex, quite a lot of Kent, and all the way down to um, Eastley and Southampton. Uh, up the West London lines as far as Wilsdon, um, or around the corner down onto the southwestern main lines at uh, Acton. Uh, Mr. Quicko, do trains use real sand or not? Yeah, no, it's, re it's real sand. Right, I'm getting multiple AWSs and I've got no idea what I'm cancelling them for, which is a little bit weird. I've not seen any signs or boards coming up. Yeah, Max, that's definitely a stop and report it to the signaller. Yeah, Durafast, the test RHTT pacer they are working on is maybe the solution. I, I did see about that. That's that's a very interesting concept. Very interesting concept. So what are we reckoning, guys, for this locomotive location livery? We're going to have to do a reveal very... Um, we're going to have to do a reveal very, very soon. What are we reckoning? We're reckoning we're speeding over the points. Uh, Michael B, no, Barnum is, is the only, pretty much the only bit of Sussex, the West Coastway and the Arran Valley are pretty much the only bits of Sussex that I don't sign, unfortunately. Um, so my route to Southampton and Eastleigh is down the, um, the southwestern main lines via Woking and Basingstoke. 
TikTok, no worries. We are at the very end of the stream, and we're speeding, about to do a locomotive location livery reveal. As we come into Leicester. Yeah, no worries, Tok. Cheers, buddy. Uh, yeah, DET, go for it, but I might not answer tonight because I am heading pretty much straight to bed as soon as we finish. Um, but by all means, do drop me a message and I shall pick that up in the morning. Okay, we are red ahead. Full service break. DRA on into neutral. Doors are on the right hand side. Uh, GSMR's gone off as well, which is a little bit strange. I do like the way the cab, the, the train roof and everything looks soaking wet. That, that's quite a nice little feature. Quite a nice little touch on there. Uh, Mr. Quicko, yeah, I, I still go through stains. Lock doors. Stains is still on my, my route card. Right, what are we doing? I reckon that's got to be a silver at best, isn't it? That's no way is that a gold medal attempt. Yeah, see, I called it. I called it silver. There we go. Right. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. <laughs> to, to be fair, I've cropped this photo in a little bit. And there isn't a great deal to go on. And I'm, I'm trying to kind of make these Locomotive Livery Location challenges a little bit harder. Because they've all been, should we say, quite easy. I, I am looking it up in this to maybe a 6x6 or a 7x7 grid. Um, but it's quite a lot of work to put all the squares in and program them all and all the animations and everything but I'm just I'm switching now it, it can be done it can be done anyway guys I'm gonna press this button here it's time to reveal today's locomotive livery location that is an EMT 170 and we said that the station was related to the route and I'd already mentioned the name of it Matlock Bath there you go uh, DET, the reason the reason I crop it is because if I don't crop it, it you've got the potential for one box to be revealed and, and everything's clear. You can, you can literally get it from one box, which is why I crop them in a little bit um, to try and make it a little bit more difficult. But maybe that one was just a tad too difficult. Or maybe there's just no one that recognises the station. I, I stand by what I say. There is one of these for everybody. There is absolutely one of these for everybody. Um, if the jingle's a little bit loud, I can pull the volume down on those. Let me know now if the jingle's too loud. It's time to reveal today's locomotive livery location. Just pulled the volume down on that a bit. Yeah, no, sorry that was a little bit loud. Um, NG, I said, Matlock, I was so close. <laughs> Oh, yeah, DT's the winner. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant, as always. Right, what are we doing? We're going back into that one. Thank you very, very much for watching tonight, guys. It's been a long one. Middle of May 9th, it's a good route. I've got a lot of confidence in Skyhook. I believe they are going to go back and fix a lot of the things that we've picked up on. But it's an enjoyable drive. The 158 is beautiful to drive. The HST is beautiful to drive. The sounds on it are, are fantastic. Um, you know, get the stop car markers fixed out, sorted out. Get those kind of odd sort of signals here and there that are not quite right sorted out. And you've, you've got a really, 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 in my opinion, you've got a really good route. Um, 131 of you lovely people still here, which is fantastic. If you haven't already, guys, please do hit that like button. Consider subscribing. It would be great to see you over in the Discord server as well. We've got just over a 1,000 members in our Discord server now. Uh, and you'll find Railway staff and uh, Railway enthusiasts alike. We're happy to talk about trains, aviation, life in general. You can find me on socials, all of that good stuff. Don't forget to look out for some of the German stuff next week. There will be live streams directly from Miniature Wonderland. 
and on the uh, Schwebe Barn, the suspension monorail in Wuppertal. And that'll be on Monday and Tuesday next week at around four o'clock in the evening, providing I've got a phone signal and I'm able to do those. <laughs> there we go, guys. I'm going to press that button there to end the stream. The screen's changed because I haven't updated this screen yet. It's been uh, absolutely brilliant, guys. Thank you very, very much for joining me, and I shall see you in the next one.